Fishing and hunting, as most of you know in northern Nevada, is one of the best places in the world to live if you are an outdoorsman. A large percentage of you locals love to fish and hunt. Today, I'm trying my hand at fishing, both fly fishing and spin cast. And later, I will interview Nevada Bighorn's unlimited president, Dr. Dennis Wilson, who will get us up to date on some of the things the organization is accomplishing. Shane Evans, the owner of Rod and Reel Outfitters, was very patient while teaching me to fly fish. Shane knows all the best places to fish, both up and down the Truckee River. He takes people of all levels on fishing excursions. You show up and he supplies your outfit, your rod and reel, and all things needed for a successful, fun day fishing on the Truckee. Shane is also a big game outfitter and guide. Scott Berge is an avid fisherman and holds the record for the biggest brown trout caught in the Truckee. Scott was cool enough to show me the ropes of spin casting the other day. And of course, he makes it look easy. Scott has first-hand knowledge of what kind of fish we have here in the Truckee River, as well as proof that he can land the big one. This is, uh, this is what we call spin casting. Spin casting. And then Scott's showing me, once it hits, you gotta go as fast as you can, so you don't, uh, so it doesn't hit the bottom. Correct. And obviously that's what the fish want to see anyway. And we're going with the natural motion of the river down current. Now the, what they're looking for is these they think this is a bait fish. So the bait fish aren't, aren't strong enough to be able to swim upstream. So they come downstream and the big fish will hang out on the sides of the rapids there and the eddies and wait for this wounded looking bait fish to be coming downstream. Now, there's, there's four different types of fish that we'll be able to find here in the river. And those are rainbow trout, the German brown trout, a cutthroat trout, and then a cross between the cutthroat and the rainbow, which is called a cutbow. Yeah, got got the name in the record book for that and everything. It was that, that's pretty quite cool. quite exciting. Was that? that was um, 2008, May 4th. So it was a it was a spring fish. So how did you report that? Well, the funny thing is, um, as I was retrieving this fish, just after I hooked up with him, uh -huh. the game warden oh my actually showed up to check my license. Right. And uh, Randy Lissetti was his name, which is, he's a really, ni really nice guy. Um, pretty much his, draw hit, his jaw hit the water. There should be no shortage of good tasting fish this year. I asked Scott about how many fish the Nevada Department of Wildlife have stocked so far this year. The planter fish taste much better. Okay. Now, the Nevada Department of Wildlife does a really good job of stocking the river. Just within the last two weeks, the Department of Wildlife has planted 7,000 fish oh, awesome. in the Truckee River. Scott does whatever it takes to catch a fish in one of his 100 days a year he visits the Truckee. I come down to the river to catch fish. Okay. And if fly fishing is catching fish, I'll fly fish. Okay. Or if the spinner's working, I'll spin. Or I'll even put a worm on. Right. I like to be called a catcherman, okay. not a fisherman. Not a fisherman. All right. I had the pleasure of interviewing the president of Nevada Bighorns Unlimited, Dr. Dennis Wilson. He explains what their organization stands for. We are a group of sportsmen and sportswomen and youth. We're 3,500 strong and we're strictly a volunteer organization. Our motto is uh, sportsmen working for the future of Nevada's wildlife. Among the many services Nevada Bighorns Unlimited provides is preserving Nevada's wildlife by building guzzlers. And we're doing all kinds of activities for MBU recently. For example, just last weekend, uh, we built a guzzler. Now a guzzler is a large water catching device using a uh, what's called an apron to catch uh, precipitation. The precipitation is then stored underneath the uh, guzzler materials, stored in the, in the tanks under there, and then metered out through the course of the summer to what's called a drinker. And then the drinker is where all the wildlife will come in to benefit from that water source. You may be surprised how big each guzzler is and how many there are. We 
we're building them big now. We've learned over the years that uh, larger guzzlers are needed for larger storage capacity, especially like if we have a really bad summer where we don't get the, the kind of precipitation we need to help them live through the, through the next couple of years. Sure. And so size-wise, our aprons now, they're well over 40 feet by 40 feet and storage capacity is now up to 10,000 gallons. How many guzzlers do you do a year and how many are there total right now? Total big game guzzlers were around 350 across the state. Finally, I asked Dr. Wilson about his all-volunteer team at Nevada Bighorns Unlimited. The main reason people volunteer for Nevada Bighorns Unlimited is because we get to get out and work for Nevada's wildlife. That's the driving force. Not only that, Nevada Bighorns Unlimited, it's the best group of people I've ever worked with. Hard workers, honest, caring, true sportsmen and sportswomen. It's just a delight. I had the opportunity to attend the Nevada Bighorns Unlimited annual fundraiser dinner and auction. Wow, what a show. 2,100 sportsmen and sportswomen supporting their passion with incredible displays of generosity at the auction was something you have to see for yourself. I have a new perspective on Nevada fishing and hunting. The sports are stronger than ever and growing in numbers and purpose.